Oh, wow. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's like I'm watching TV. <laughs> you heard it here, guys. It passes the wifey test. Yay. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be upgrading the backup camera on this 10th gen 2016 Honda Civic Touring. The backup camera right now is a little too blurry, the stock one at least, because we have an upgraded aftermarket head unit here. So you can see this, this is our upgraded Android screen head unit and it is quite big, but the backup camera is too blurry this is actually the side camera but they use the same thing so we need to upgrade the camera to an hd camera and that's what i'll show you how to do today this is the new camera right here so this camera has two mounting points and some sticky 3m tape and you're going to kind of put it upside down and you can adjust the angle of it like so it has a very long cord here so that we can um be able to connect this to the head unit all the way to the trunk it's 1080p hd so let's go and figure out how to wire this setup first thing we want to do is get the uh, head unit disconnected off great so come on back over here and take a look at this big mess of wires this is our rear view camera in and it connects to the cam CVBS. So we're gonna disconnect this. And the stock camera is this one right here. So you can just leave that unplugged for now. So for the automatic, you can uh, use the green wire here. This green wire is going to connect to this one over here, which is written in Chinese. <laughs> so you would have never known but i tested it and this one works this is your reversing power wire so you're going to splice the green to this one with the chinese words coming from this harness over here this one to the camera is going to get connected to the camera rear camera in so let's go ahead and plug this in okay and it's on somehow somewhere So we're going to take the rest of this long wire and kind of place it through um, through this way so that we're going to kind of route it to the rear trunk where the backup camera is. We're going to go through the driver's side panels. So here's the wiring. Ellie helped me kind of fish it through underneath here from where the head unit was. And now I'm basically just going to zip tie through existing wiring, get it tucked in in a way kind of where this uh, hood latches just kind of tuck it over here behind the trim keep on tucking it under this trim right here to hide the wire try to uh, hide this under your seat this wire reach on the other side with your other hand and pull it through so now it's under the seat and into the trunk to reach the camera here we go. This is the rest of the wiring we have. We're gonna be following this line over here. Zip tie, zip tie, get through, get through, and then end up right here. Right now what I'm doing is I'm just zip tying the wiring here so that it follows the stock wiring that goes to the tail lights. So I'm trying to make it a clean install and also so it doesn't bind. As you can see, it's coming from here, behind the liner here. I tried my best to hide the wiring. You could do a better job if you take the time to study where wires go, but I'm in a kind of a rush here before it gets dark, so I'm just doing a quick version. So this is the progress so far. I drilled a small hole underneath the plastic part of this bumper, got the wire through, and then we're gonna put the 3M tape and screws right here. So it's a nice clean install and you can adjust the angle. I have the two cords connected, the red and the yellow uh, from where we routed. This black and uh, red cable here, you don't have to use unless you have a manual car, then you need to put the red to the reverse light power and the black to any ground source. We don't need to do that because we have an automatic. Okay, here goes nothing. 
Fingers crossed. Yes, it works. And here's the dynamic parking lines. They also work as well. You can adjust your brightness of your camera here, the colors, um, and also the contrast. So I'm just gonna leave it all to default settings. So the only funny thing now is we have two cameras, as you can see. This is the OEM camera that's not in use anymore, and I couldn't figure out a way to take it out, so it's just gonna stay there. This camera on the right is the newer HD camera, and you can see the difference in the lens and the quality. Uh, the uh, one on the right is much better. Uh, HD, night vision, just better quality overall. So once you have the alignment right, you can tighten the screws on the sides, and that's gonna keep it in place where it's never gonna move. Let's go test out the alignment and see where it's at. Wow, it's pretty decent, pretty good. So I would ask Ellie, you know, is she happy with this alignment? Because we can adjust it a little more higher and a little more lower. You can adjust the tilt. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Ooh. Wow, much bigger difference. This is so much clearer. clearer. Dang, it makes this car look so much, or feel so much newer and wow, just a nice, <laughs> quality backup camera super impressed so these are the two supplied screws right over here i'm going to be screwing it in just so that this camera does not fall out of place now you can see right here this screw this is your adjustment screw once you've got the right height set to your camera which i think i want it right around there i'm going to go ahead and take a screwdriver and tighten this bolt and once you've tightened this, it's going to uh, pretty much hold it nice and firm so that it doesn't shake around when you close the trunk. Right. All right, so this is how big our place is. One bedroom condo apartment. And this guy who's trying to move in has a ton of furniture. Check that out. What is this guy moving? You can't even fit all that in three of our condo places. Okay guys, so everything is uh, installed as it should be. I'm gonna show you some footage of the reverse cam in action. So immediately you can tell a big difference here. So much clearer, especially at night. So the nighttime visibility is a lot better. Wow, this is so much clearer. It really matches the screen because the screen's HD and this camera's HD. Comparison with the side camera, the stock one. This is so blurry, look at this. Looks like it's from the 90s, you know? And then go ahead and then we're gonna do into reverse. And so much clearer. I can actually see the detail in like the plants behind us. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching till the end. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I'll have a link to the uh, camera that we used in the description if you wanna purchase one for yourself. And good luck with the install as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next video. Have a good evening.